Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. We're going to work another problem where we're doing hypothesis testing with uh, populations and comparing two groups of people, two means. Uh, again, we're doing large samples, independent sample sets in these types of problems. So this problem says, it was always accepted that people from two nearby cities exercised the same amount. A researcher proposes that the two cities don't exercise uh, the same, amount. Uh, and so city A is surveyed with 36 people who answer that they exercise on average 2.9 hours per week with a standard deviation of 1.1 hours. City B likewise is also sampled with 38 people who answer that they exercise 2.7 hours per week with a standard deviation of 1 hour, 1.0 hours. Test this claim uh, or test the hypothesis to a 0.05 level of significance. So I want to do this because it illustrates uh, what we're going to find in just a second is going to end up being a two-tailed distribution. We have a little bit of experience with figuring out how to do these when you have one tail or the other, and it all boils down to how the problem is phrased. When you read the very first sentence in this problem, it says, it was always accepted. Now that's a phrase right there that kind of leads you to believe that the conventional thinking, the status quo thinking, uh, is that people from two nearby cities exercise the same. So this first sentence is basically telling you what the null hypothesis is. You see, some of these problems are going to be written so that they tell you kind of what the null hypothesis is, and some of the other problems, like the last one, is going to be written uh, in terms of the claim. The researcher claims X. Okay? It also tells you a researcher proposes the two cities don't exercise the same. So I guess it kind of tells you both. But in any case, the first sentence is pretty rock solid that uh, these guys uh, that it was accepted that people from these two nearby cities exercise the same amount. So the way you look at that is first of all we want to say city A we're going to use mu1 to represent the number of hours that the people in this city on average, that's what this is an average or a mean, uh, exercise and then we're going to have city B and we're going to use mu2 to represent how many hours per week the people in city B exercise. Okay. So now what we want to do is write down, if we can, the null hypothesis. Now, the way that it was written is it tells you right there that it's been commonly accepted or always accepted people from two nearby cities exercise the same amount. So over to the side, I'll just write that that means that the mean amount of hours that people in city one exercise is the same as the mean amount of hours that people in city two exercise. This is the way that you would write it down just based on how the sentence is. And this is set, essentially is the null hypothesis because it's telling you it was always accepted that this was the case, that th these guys exercise on average the same. So to write the hypothesis, the null hypothesis,